Hey friends and welcome back to the Basswood Carving Channel. Um, I know it's been a little bit since I put a video up and really, really slammed at work. So I um, thought I would uh, do a little video and answer some questions I keep getting in the email and Facebook Messenger about where to get basswood. Um, where do you get your basswood? Um, so I thought I'd come on and do a little quick video and while I get some other projects ready for the channel. Um about where I get some basswood and I'm going to talk about basswood you know and I will let you know the good places that I've bought it and I'll be honest with you and tell you whether I've bought there or not um but we'll start from the kind of the worst to the best um and the f first place is is Michael's obviously it's a craft store and um they do offer some basswood there um especially if you want to get little plaques type basswood like these little rounds they're nice to mount your carvings on and and carve you know when you carve something have something to put on them or maybe you're into wood burning you know they got basswood plaques there that you can do wood burning on and stuff but um you know they have little packs of basswood now the the basswood that i've purchased from michael's when i first started carving was pretty hard i'm gonna to have to say it was probably some of the hardest basswood that i've ever purchased and um you know they it's a little little pricey for what you really get in in the basswood but you know if you're in a pinch and you want to carve something real quick and you have a michaels near you you know that i mean it's it's an alternative it's it it it's a place to get a couple blocks of wood but if you're doing a lot of carving you know you'll look at some of these other places that i got coming up um so michael's yeah they sell basswood is it the best no it's not and you know you're limited on sizes of what they have um the next place is a place that i've bought from kind of frequently um when i before i found out about a couple other places but um is woodcraft if you have a woodcraft store around you um they they do have basswood there there again you're it's hit and miss i have got some good basswood from them before and then i've got some that was just like carving walnut um you know the nice thing about um woodcraft is you can buy i i bought it like a 25 dollar box of wood and it had a lot of different size cuts in it and stuff it was kind of cool to take those and and figure out what can i make out of these or whatever and so they have a mixed box and you can you can if they have a long pieces you can have some custom cuts done if you go into the store you can also order it online obviously you know any of these places that you that I'm going to show you, you can order online. So, um, the basswood at Woodcraft, pretty good. If you're, you know, if you're in a pinch and you want to get some wood, you know, they're, they're another alternative to go get some wood. And, um, you know, sometimes it's laying on the shelf so you can pick it up and feel it and see how heavy it is and see what it feels like. And, and they do have, like I said, a mystery box kind of, a, a hodgepodge of different sizes and stuff. Um, so I have bought there from Woodcraft before. And if you're over there getting a knife or looking at chisels or something like that, you know, that they do have uh, a lot of a lot of Woodcraft, or, sorry, flex, flex cut carving tools. So if you're over there looking to buy some tools, you know, that's a, that's a good place to go if you're looking for Flexcraft or, or um, some other brands. File, I think they sell file. Um, so woodcraft um, if you have one in your area uh, they also have a, a good amount of carving books too which I, I kind of like and I go over there and look through some of the carving books actually I think most of the carving books that I've picked up was over there at woodcraft so um, if you're looking for carving books you know it's a good place to go check out and see what they got and look at their basswood um, the next place is arrowhead wood products now i'll be honest with you on this one i have not bought from from arrowhead but it looks like from their website that they do have a good assortment of basswood um you know, they have small pieces and then they have basswood bark with the edges and stuff like that on it so um arrowhead products give them a try if you want they're in carlton minnesota um you can shop online or you can give them a call to place an order um the next place is treeline 
tree line is i have purchased some wood from tree line before really decent wood um you know um sometimes the sh i'm gonna say the shipping was a little slow um so um this was before i knew anything about you know a couple of these other places where i frequently buy from but um arrowhead did or tree line i'm sorry tree line did have some good some good purchase wood so um check them out um if you want to get some wood from tree line um rockler rockler is currently it looks like they're out of stock on basswood carving wood so um i don't know what their plans are it seems like they've been out of wood for a little bit of a time and um you know but like i said i just wanted to list you know pretty much what um what some of your options are depending on where you live and stuff you know if you're international you know it might be hard to get you know get some wood shipped to you so these are all usa um stores so you know you can check those out and see if they'll ship to you um the next one is mountain wood carvers um there again i have not purchased from them but i've heard some good reviews about them some of the guys at the carving club have talked about getting some wood from mountain and um you know they have some good sizes they did have a whittling bag i guess it was kind of like the box that um, woodcraft has you know with some different sizes in it um and stuff like that they do have a bunch of different kinds of wood too so you might check them out and see what you're looking for if, if they have it um the next one is lee valley and um there again have not purchased from lee valley but i've heard some good things about their wood um seems like they have some really good wood and um you know they obviously offer different size uh, blocks they do if you're into carbon ducks i know they do have some good sized ducks blocks for ducks um so if you're into that you know you might um check out lee valley it, um it looks like their prices are not too bad um pretty comparable of course wood has went up a lot you know any kind of wood that you buy since the covid and everything so you know wood has gotten really really expensive so you know check out the prices see see if it's in your price range see what your options are see if it's available um but from what i've heard of lee valley they do have some good wood um the last one that i'm going to do is places that i have bought from and bought from frequently um now there's a two places on ebay that i like to get wood from now this guy um it's jay gall and 10539 if you just search basswood you'll come up with a couple of uh you know places to get basswood but this guy is is really um and he sold a lot of wood he sold a lot of wood because when i was when i purchased um some wood from him there was all kinds of options and it looks like right now um some of his options are down you know but um you know he'll probably get some more wood cut up pretty soon but the nice thing about these are if you're looking for particular sizes just say you want to get a bunch of one by one by four which i've done before um you know you can get i mean you you get 110 pieces of one by one by four so if you're into carving like one by one by four you know caricatures and stuff or little carvings those are the sizes you like to work with i mean 37.50 plus you know it's free shipping for 110 pieces it's a really good deal especially if you don't have a saw to cut your stuff down so um check out this jay gall on ebay like i said i have gotten wood from him and um it, it's really decent wood it carves real nice um and you can get you know a ton of wood ton of wood like 140 pieces of one by one by three for 37.50 and that's free shipping that's a good deal you know if like i said if you don't have a saw to cut to cut with um you know look through this some of these you can get longer sticks you know here's a one by one by four eleven three quarter um you know you can cut them down with a with a little handsaw or hacksaw if you have one um so um just look through what he's got to offer like i said right now he looks like he's down probably getting a lot of people buying from him um 
because I know he did have a ton of available sizes and tons. I think I I bought uh, 220 one and a half by one and a half by f four, um, and it was like 37 bucks. And I mean, I'm still I still have but tons of little blocks to cut around with. So really good option if you don't have a saw. Look, here's 220 pieces of one by one by three for 50 bucks. I mean, you can get a lot of carvings. That's 220 carvings. Here's 180 for one by one by fours. Um, and I was kind of re reluctant to put this one up because I was afraid, like, man, if I want to get some, it's going to be gone. But, um, you know, I'm sure if, if he's selling pretty good, he'll probably get a bunch, bunch more sizes cut up in that. So there's another place on eBay that I've purchased from. Um, it's called the Carving Store. Um, they have a 99.6% rating. Um, here again, they, they're a little higher, but, you know, if you're into uh, buying blocks of wood that you don't have to, um, you know, you don't have a saw to cut down, these are good options, really good options. And the wood is, is really, really decent wood, um, you know, at least that I've purchased. Um, and he offers, this store offers a lot of different sizes as well. I mean, you got three-quarter by three-quarter by 12, you know, two by two by three, uh, inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter by three. That's a good. That's a good little project thing there. Um, and you just select how many you want to buy, and the prices range. You know, not too bad. Not not really too bad. So, um, you know, check out check it out and see see what they got. If they got something that you like or something that you're looking for. Again, I think the plus is for somebody that doesn't have a chop saw or. a or a table saw or something that wants to wants to have wood already cut down to a certain particular size um you know and sometimes you can contact them and just tell them what size you want and see what kind of price they'll give you for that um the nice thing about the ones on ebay that i've seen is and that i've used is that it comes with free shipping so um you know that's a that's a big thing when you're looking at at the weight of wood when you want to buy a bunch of wood so check out the carving store on ebay um my final choice for wood and these guys are the top of the line when it comes to carving wood and that's heineke and i just recently offer or just recently purchased and you've seen it in the thumbnail a big old block of wood from um heineke and you know it, it's it was just, uh, it's just some of the softest, best wood that I've ever carved with. Um, and same way with Heineke, you can pretty much give them a call or send them an email and tell them what you're looking for. And they'll pretty much give you any size that you want. Um, I know I was wanting to get some one inch by one inch by 12, just, um, stock and he contacted me back and told me that it normally comes seven eighths which is typical of lumber when you buy a two by four it's not two by four you know it's like a two it's like an inch and seven eighths or whatever but anyway he did call me back told me that hey you know that one inch if i give you a one inch stock it's going to cost a little more but normally what we sell is playing down to, to seven eighths and um, I was fine with that for the project that I was working on because that little eighth of an inch didn't matter too much to me. Um, but there again, I bought, um, I think my piece was, uh, it was three inch thick, um, 24 inches long, and I believe it was uh, 12 inches or 10 inches wide so I could get a bunch of blocks out of that bunch of blocks and I have a table saw and a chop saw and a band saw so you know I can buy blocks of wood like that and uh, and cut them down to any size I want sometimes I like to just leave it whole and I'll just cut out a piece that I like but uh, you know top of the line all good almost all the carvers recommend Heineke wood and um, you know they're they're the the leader i would say in basswood for carving it's just carving that stuff is just so so nice it's like it's like butter it really is um some of the other options that you have um you know again they got plaques they got practice sticks if you want to buy just some blocks certain sizes you know um 
you, know, you can pretty much, they'll pretty much cut for you what they want. I mean, an inch and a half, inch and a half by 12 for 245 That's not bad at all, really. Like I said, especially with the prices of wood going up. Here's a 2 by 2 by 12 for 275 you know. You can get 10 of those or 12 of those, and, you know, you're still under $50. Um, you do have to pay for the shipping on these, um, you know, which wasn't too bad when I ordered my pieces. It wasn't too bad. Uh, you know, I think I paid like 20 something bucks for shipping, but there again, you got to figure wood, um, prices are up and, um, also, um, shipping is, and it's not the company's fault. Just shipping is really screwed up right now. No matter what you order, you know, it seems like shipping is taking forever for everything. So, um, you know, it wasn't too bad. I placed an order and I think it was like a week and I got my order. So, um, definitely check out Heineke wood. Um, the other places that I'll get wood sometimes is, um, you know, when I go to a carving show, if you go to carving shows and, and I'm sure they're going to be starting back up here pretty soon, but if you go to carving shows, you know, you'll, um, you'll see guys there selling, um, selling carving wood. So, you know, it's always, most of the time it comes from Heineke. So, you know, that's a good place to, to look for wood once the uh, carving shows start back up again. Um, I've always gotten a couple good, good, nice blocks of wood at the carving show. And like I said, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, you know, same as, uh, as Heineke wood. It's just always been really nice and soft, you know. Um, finding bass wood, you know, is not really that hard. You just have to put your homework in. And um, I'll put these links up on the Basswood Carving Channel. And if you want to go to the Basswood Carving Channel, you can look for the page. And I'll have links to all these all these uh, websites and where you can find wood. Or you can just scroll back through the video. Um, but there again, I would suggest check out the two places on eBay. I've had really good success and good luck with them guys. Both of those places on eBay. And Heineke Wood is probably, you know, my number one place to get wood now. Um, the only thing is, is I don't think they ship international. So, you know, you might have a little problem if you're outside of the country of the United States to get to get them to ship to you. Um, you know, but uh, there's a few other places. And if anybody knows of any good places, you know, that, that you would recommend to get some basswood from you know please put it down in the comments for all the subscribers and all the viewers you know if it if i didn't list one i tried to just put together a quick little list um you know because like i said i've been getting a bunch of messages about you know where do i get my basswood from and uh so i thought well this would be a good video you know my channel is about carving but it's also about the things of carving that, you know, you need, the tools, and wood is a tool. So, you know, um, if you know of some places, put it down in the comments to help some of our viewers out. And um, that's, you know, that's what it's about is helping each other out in the carving community. And um, I really appreciate all the subscribers. Been getting subscribers every day. The count's going up, and um, I'm really happy. And I know, like I said, I've been... Uh, really, really busy. Haven't had a chance to get a video up, but I got a couple projects in the making and I got a new little thing that I'm going to be doing on here too. I also got my instructor, Bob is going to come on and do some videos. We're going to do some videos together. So we're working out those details. And, um, again, thanks for subscribing and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Mm -hmm.